Amazfit has rolled out location navigation feature support for its latest Amazfit GTR4 watch. So you can now finally import root files on your Amazfit GTR or GTS4 watches. There will be two chapters in the video. In the first one, I will show how you can create a map file for GTR4. If you already have the GPX file for your root, then go to the second chapter. I have shown how to upload and use the map on your smartwatch there. Coming back to the video, first open Google Maps on your browser. Here you need to select the starting point of your route. To do that, right click on the starting point and tap on the directions from here option. This will select the starting location. Now you need to select the ending point of your route. Just right click on the location you want to set as the ending point. A menu will pop up and select the directions to here option. This will create a path from your starting to the ending point. You can also drag and move the starting point according to your requirement. However, it will also keep changing your path to find the shortest route to the location. To avoid that, you would need to add multiple destinations between the route. It will prevent Google Maps from changing the street. And it will also allow you to create a lap or circular map for your runs. One thing that you need to ensure is that you have selected the walking mode of transportation here. Otherwise, Google Maps will start taking U-turns, lack of parking and other factors into consideration. Once you have created your maps, keep the tab open and go to maps to gpx.com. Now simply copy and paste the Google Maps web page on this box here on the maps to gpx web page. Tap on let's go. This will download the GPX root file on your computer. This GPX file has the root information. Now copy it on your smartphone. On your phone, open file manager and tap on the GPX file you have copied from your computer. As soon as you will tap on the root file, your phone should ask you to select the app to open the GPX file with. Select the zip app. This will open the map on your phone. Make sure the route is correct and then tap on save in the top right corner. This will save the route on the Zap app. It doesn't mean you can access it now on your smartwatch. You will just need to do one extra step. Open the Zap app, go to profile and open this my route option here. On the next screen, you will find the route you have transferred. Tap on it. Next, click on the three dot menu option in the corner. A couple of options will pop up from the bottom of the screen. First, I would recommend renaming the route so that it's easier to recognize it on your watch. Once you are done with that, open the menu again and tap on the send to device option. Now open outdoor running or any other outdoor profile on your Amazfit GTR4. Before starting the activity, scroll below and select the navigation option. Tap on the my route option. Here you will get all the maps that you have sent to your GTR4. Open it, scroll and click on the use route option. This will bring you to the sports profile with the name of your route written under the navigation system. Start your activity, scroll below and you will find your map trail on the screen. Here on the map screen, press the crown button and you will get the zoom in and zoom out option on the screen. Press the crown button again and it will switch from zoom in to the scroll up and down. Pressing the crown button again will allow you to scroll sideways. To exit this zoom in option and view other data screens, tap this bottom button on the side. You can now move between the other data screens. There are various other new options added to the profile as well. If you will pause the workout and go to the navigation option, after that, you can check out route details, save your current location and go back to the start point. This option was already there before, but if you didn't know, now you know. There is also a navigation settings option. Under this, you can change the starting point. So if you have a map that doesn't end in a circle, then you can change your starting point. Also, you can change the navigation view. I would recommend changing from north up to advance up as it seems more interactive to me. You can also set a course deviation alert. It can be useful on hikes. So if you will deviate from the course, the watch will alert you. And if you have changed your mind about the route, 
you can discard the map altogether. So guys, that's how you import the GPX map on GTA 4. Are you planning to use it? And for what sports profile? Do tell me in the comment section down below. Also, before you go, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to our channel. We come out with variable tech videos like this Amazfit GTR 4 tips and tricks video almost every day. So consider subscribing. I will see you here next time.